So for this next video, we're going to be looking at using properties of congruent figures to find these corresponding parts. So for number one, I'm given this diagram and I know that DEFG is congruent to SPQR. So again, remember the order of this matters. So that means like for instance, that angle D is congruent to angle S, side DE is congruent to side SP, and so on. So we're going to use that information to find the values of x and y. So looking here, I can start with either x or y, but I notice that my figure with y has my x in there as well. So that means I'm going to have to figure out what x is first. So I see that x is involved with this side qr. So I need to figure out what QR is equal to. What is it congruent to? Well, I see in my congruency statement here that QR is the second two, or the last two letters. So that means it's going to be congruent to the side that's also the last two letters over here. So that means it's going to be congruent to FG. And remember, congruent just means equal as well. Well, QR, I see, is the, my side 2x minus 4, so I have 2x minus 4 is equal to my side FG, which is 12. Now I can go ahead and solve for x, so plus 4 is 4, and then divide by 2, and I get that x is equal Now let's find the value of y. So I see that y is involved in this angle q here. So I need to figure out what angle q is congruent to. Well, I see that q is my third letter in my congruency statement. So that means it's going to be congruent to this third letter here as well. So that means that measure of angle q is equal to the measure of angle f. Well, Q is 6Y plus X, and angle F is 68 degrees. But I already know that the value of X is 8, so I can plug that in. So I have 6Y plus 8 is equal to 68. Now I can solve this for Y, so I'll subtract 8 from both sides, and I get that 6Y is equal to 60, and then divide by 6 and I get that y is equal to 10. Okay, let's try another one. So here it looks like I have the same first figure, D, E, F, G, and now I know it's congruent to Q, M, N, P. So I want to first find the value of x. And so I see that x is involved again with this side right here, which is mq. So I need to figure out what mq is equal to. Well, mq or qm is the first two letters in my congruency statement. So that means it's going to be congruent to the side that is also the first two letters. So it's going to be equal to de, which is right here. Well, MQ is X minus 2, DE is 8, and I can add 2 to both sides, and I get that X is equal to 10. Okay, now let's find the value of Y. So Y is involved with this angle P here, so I need to figure out which of these angles that angle P is equal to. Well, P is my last letter in my congruency statement, and my last letter on this first shape is G. So that means that angle P is going to be congruent to angle G. Well, angle P is 3X plus 2Y is equal to angle G, which is 84. Then I'm going to plug in my value in for X. So I have 3 times 10 plus 2y is equal to 84. And now I can solve it from here. So 3 times 10, that's 30. 
subtract 30 from both sides. I get that 2y is equal to 54. And then divide both sides by 2. And I get that y is equal to 27.